Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today let's have some fun. So this is a parametric uh, polygon uh, family, so which you can draw a shape. Yeah, and then you can change the the number of the sides, like. Okay, so let's 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 start. So I'll just close all these. Okay, so first let's create a, a generic model adaptive. So go to floor plan and draw a circle. So uh oh sorry, uh, play, place a point. Draw uh, uh draw on draw on not that matter. So one, two, three, two points, and make adaptive. Okay. So now, go back, reference, circle, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick plan. Okay. Pick, pick this one. So pick the first. So this is point one. So pick the horizontal, and draw it here to. Doesn't really matter for now. So I'll just draw it here. So. And then, so create this radius. So create, uh, let's call it uh, lowercase r instance. Okay, so now select point one and two, create spline, reference line, and then set work plan, pick a plan. Okay, pick the horizontal work plan of this reference line, and then create a dimension. So make sure you pick the point, and then so select this uh, dimension, and then create a uh, let's call it uh, capital R. So this will be the reporting parameter. So so okay. So now go to family uh, types, lowercase r equals capital R, and okay. So now we have uh, if if I move this. One, two, so you will see. So this will be um, so this this circle will be used to create that shape. So that's the uh, um, and then click on this uh, circle and then divide path. So now we have see six points here number and create a number. So let's call it number. Okay, so um, instance. Okay, and okay. So now create another family adaptive uh, generic model adaptive open. So place two points anywhere. One, two. So select them. Make adaptive spline reference line. Oh hell, not reference line. Okay, so model line. So so this is chunk low low into the uh the, this one and place on face here and here and then select select this family repeat so uh, now let's create a project so and load this family into the project and now i can place it here so see, the so first point uh, is the center of this shape. So the second point will decide the uh, the size. Okay. So this, and you can change the size. And if you don't want to see this point here, so see this point. So this point here. So just edit this family. Select this divide path. And turn, uh, uncheck the nodes and load back into the project. So now it's it's done. So let's tr uh, let's create similar CS. So first point, second point. And then you can change. Uh, you can you can um, change the number of the so size nine. So if you're topping like a big number fifty, so it's almost a circle, right? Then, okay, so yeah, uh, CC multiple, so you can have a lot of different. You can change the size as well.
oh not two you can't have two sides that's yeah so something like this okay, okay so that's it for today so it's very simple and uh, interesting one so yeah should be um i think might be useful for some projects i think in the future okay thank you see you tomorrow